Hello, I'm Kelly Galatley, Director of the Ian Potter Museum of Art, and I'm here today to speak about this fabulous tapestry by Richard Larter called Star Type from 1979. Richard Larter is best known for this period of his work where he was sort of regarded as one of Australia's foremost proponents of pop art, but interestingly, he didn't see himself um, as a pop artist at all. These works with this kind of collage pop aesthetic a key to his practice in the 1970s. And for Richard, he's really at this time, and it's something that he continues throughout his career, to push the boundaries of taste and propriety and really make us question as an audience and a society around what upsets us and what we value. Why are we, for example, um, concerned about a naked woman when there is so much atrocity in the world? And I think these things give his work you know, a real contemporary currency. They don't, as a result, sit as a time capsule of the 70s. One of the great things about Lata's work for me is his relationship with his extraordinary wife, Pat, who is pictured here and here. She appears throughout all of his work until her untimely death many years later. Pat was in her own right a fantastic and less so celebrated artist at this time. She certainly, um, her reputation has grown monumentally. But she was both a performance artist and a male artist. But really, um, at this stage of Richard's career, uh, his collaborator and muse. So it was very much about her agency and role within these, playing with those codes, but effectively kind of tipping them on their head because she had the power. And for me, that is central to all of Richard's work, that it is very much, it's a celebration. They can often be read as something other than that. But in this instance, a kind of questioning around what we value. Um, we have a very real woman here with all of her flaws and beauty. She's very clearly identified and she's juxtaposed against these star types, as, as the title suggests. And I think Richard's very much questioning why is one better than the other? Why is more highly valued or prized than the other? The other thing that is wonderful and heartwarming for me is when you're close to this work, there are tiny flecks of glitter thread throughout it. And as Richard's practice changed and shifted over the years, his celebration of colour was always part of that, but his later works became even more excessive in terms of their use of glitter. And he used to refer to the fact that there was nothing like a bit of sparkle arkle to make people sit up and look at the work and think about things differently.